This video is to show you why the formula for permutations is this one written here on the bottom of the screen. We are going to use an example with the Olympics. So let's say that there are eight countries, we'll call them A through H, and they're competing in an event. And we want to know how many different ways are there for the medals to be awarded. Well, there are three medals, gold which is the best, silver comes next, and bronze is third place. With eight countries, we are taking groups of three out of a pool of size eight and order matters. So we can just plug that into the permutations formula that was on the previous slide, and we end up with 336 ways. Now let's investigate and see why that happens. First of all, any of the eight countries can win the gold. So you'll notice here I don't have any letters assigned to these countries, just one of them is gold. It could be any country. After that country wins the gold, any of the seven remaining countries could win the silver. After that country wins the silver, there are six countries left. One of them can earn the bronze. The number of different ways that we could make groups of gold, silver, and bronze winners is 8 times 7 times 6, which is equal to 336. And then we're done. So why would we want to go and complicate things with this messy permutations formula? Let's have a look. Here's the formula, equals 336. What's up with this 8 factorial on top, 5 factorial on the bottom? This denominator is going to interrupt the numerator's factorial where you need it. And that might not make sense until I show you this example. So we wanted 8 times 7 times 6, right, this black part. And we'll see that the denominator, 5 factorial, cancels out all the rest of the terms in the numerator, and we're left with 8 times 7 times 6, which is just what we wanted. The convenience of this permutation formula is that we can apply it to any situation where we pick k-sized groups from a pool of size n and order matters. For instance, it would be really inconvenient to memorize this formula and then figure out what happens if there are four medals that could be awarded. All right, Or what if there are nine countries competing? As long as you know the basic permutation formula of n factorial over n minus k quantity factorial, you'll be set and you can figure any problem out.